In March of 2012, the UFC officially kicked off their brand new flyweight division with a four-man tournament, pitting Joseph Benavidez against Yashihiro Arashitani and Demetrius Johnson against Ian McCall. When the dust settled, Mighty Mouse claimed the strap with a decision win over Benavidez at UFC 152. However, the UFC hasn't exactly pushed the division since then. Mighty Mouse is the only UFC champion who has yet to headline a pay-per-view, and some have wondered if he ever will. Mighty Mouse has been on a lot of big cards. Again, he's, he's going to fight on Fox again. We're in the building phase of, of that division, so the answer to that is yes. While Johnson has had the honor of competing on many major cards, his opponent John Moraga has not. In fact, Moraga has yet to see even a TV slot in his two fights in the promotion, with both of his bouts opening the show on Facebook. Because of this, many fans may not be familiar with the Arizona native. In his first bout with the UFC, he knocked out Ulysses Gomez in the first round with elbows and punches. And in his sophomore effort, he bested fellow top 10 flyweight Chris Carriasso by guillotine. John Raga possesses, you know, great skills. Um, he throws through great combinations. But as far as me, when it comes to my training and preparing for a fighter or a fight, um, we don't bring nobody in um, to emulate my opponent or we don't go out and seek information on my opponent. We just train hard and I believe in my uh, training partners and my coaching and that's, that's what we've done and hasn't let us down yet. That preparation may not have failed Mighty Mouse in getting wins, but he also has not finished an opponent in the flyweight division with all of his wins coming by decision. This has led many to speculate that this may be why the champ is not headlined to pay-per-view. Ben Henderson has had fights that have gone to decisions, you know, controversial decisions, Demetrius has gone to decisions. You know, uh, as long as it's an exciting fight, there's all different styles of fighters. Some guys go in there and they knock people out. Some guys, uh, some guys pull off submissions, and some guys, you know, go, go to decisions but have exciting fights. Like I said, the last, uh, the last fight with Demetrius was, was an awesome fight. In that fight against John Dodson, Johnson was dropped early and made a comeback in the later rounds, showing off what might be his strongest asset: his cardiovascular conditioning. Probably the thing that I've been uh, working on most is cardio, you know, making sure I'm able to go uh, hard for all five rounds. Uh, you know, that, that's what I think he's shown is his best uh, fighting uh, ability or whatever that, you know, he tires people out. So uh, that's not going to happen on, on the fight. On Saturday night, the flyweights will once again be the focus of the UFC. Will the frenetic pace of Mighty Mouse once again prove too much for his challenger? Or will Moraga's finishing ability crown him the division's second champion?